What's up, guys? Lou in here at GarageBand and beyond. Today, we're going to be taking a really close look at the Everything Bundle from Slate Digital. Um, and I'm trying to not talk so much at the top. I'm going to just start off with one of the things I think most GarageBand users or probably most people out there will be interested in is the fact that that Everything Bundle comes with a mastering preset or a mastering plugin. Um, so let's just quickly take a look at that and I will talk about stuff later okay so let's just get listening so I'm just going to show you how it works really I'm just going to put it down to zero dB and I'm just going to start turning it up I mean, it's pretty noticeable. I'm just going to turn it on and off. I mean, this is mastering, so obviously it's going to be louder and quieter. Um, but, you know, just so you know, it's going to be, there's going to be a dramatic volume shift here. Uh, so I'll just do it. Here you go. Right. And then I intentionally exported these tracks that I made a little bit low just so I could show you uh, how powerful this thing is with just like turning one single knob. You can get this like you get this pretty amazing result out of it. Um, and like I said, it's super easy to use, you know, attack, release, ratio, threshold. I mean, it's super easy compression stuff. Um, I like to do a real fast attack and a slow release on my masters. And, you know, sometimes the slow gets adjusted. Um, definitely fast attack. Uh, but otherwise, you know, low punch, obviously that's a low end thing. Detail, that's obviously high end. But this is the knob right here. This is the, does all the work for you. So if you're one of those people that when you're constantly ex when you're exporting from uh, garage band and you're not getting the volume you want it's because it's not mastered properly a um, B if you're like futzing around with the uh, you know the sort of plugins that garage band has for mastering um, that's fun and they work um, but they do take a lot of time to sort of figure out and you got to go through and manipulate everything uh, to get it to sound just right this plugin right here the FGX this thing is like I said it's plug in it plug in play and you just put your song through it turn the thing up, adjust the compression, a little bit of low, a little bit of high, and you're done. And it's it has made my mastering life so much quicker, so much more easy. I can't stress enough how awesome the mastering plugin is. So that's a really quick um, brief overview of it. So um, that is just the mastering plugin. Now what I want to talk about, oh, and one more thing about the mastering plugin. This one is mastered right here on top, and uh, these two on bottom are not mastered. So pretty dramatic difference. Just visually, you can see what the mastering plugin has done. Um, it works. We love it. And the fact that it comes in the everything bundle is spectacularly cool. Now, what I want to do next is just sort of give you a quick demo. Um, if you read the titles here, uh, you'll see this one. It's a song that I'm mixing for a client. Uh, he wrote it. Uh, hey, Dave, what's up? Um, and um, so I, I've done this mix with and without the, the Slate plugins. What I did add, uh, I'll tell you, is pretty much the the virtual channel, the virtual mixer thing, uh, both preamps on every channel, just because I like the coloration. They do two different things. The One of them does like a, more of a low end coloration and one of them does a high end coloration. Um, I'm going to shut up. I want you to listen because it's a noticeable difference. Uh, so let's just do it like this. Okay, so here we go. So this top one has the slate plugins on it and this bottom one does not. So let's start with the bottom one. And we're just, I'm just going to flip back and forth.
Okay, so that's, I mean, obviously it's a huge difference. The, the object of the way I did these two mixes, because everybody, like whenever you watch the reviews of this stuff, everybody's like, it's so subtle. It's a subtle thing. You have to turn it up to listen to it. Um, I don't actually think it's so subtle at all. I, I mean, yeah, it's subtle, okay, but <laughs> when you do it right and when you listen to it, like A and B, a mix with it and without it, it doesn't seem subtle to me at all. Um, what I hear is like a, a lift in the middle that's super nice and musical and natural sounding. It doesn't just sound like I bumped up the mids in the, the overall mix. You know what I mean? Um, so the drums come out nicer. The bass, one of the things that I was most surprised about is the, uh, the amount of space that the bass track, the actual bass guitar track, suddenly was taking up a much bigger, wider image, um, which in fact, I will probably have to go back and adjust that a little bit, but I was really surprised at the imaging qualities of some of these preamp or some of these plugins rather. Um, but I wanted to get you the chorus because uh, the chorus is bitching. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's in here. So I wanted you to hear this chorus. And uh, again, you know, it does help to sort of turn it up, you know, have headphones on, listen to your studio so you can hear these differences. If you're listening to this on your iPhone, eh, you might not hear it. You might, but you probably won't. Um, but anyway. This is the chorus, and I just think this is one of those places where the plugins really, really help the mix. I mean, I really hope that you can hear that because it's as obvious as I can make it. And it's like, to me, it's very night and day. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've been playing with these things so much and I really do hear and love the differences. So that's the audible part of this. This is what I, you know, I just wanted you to hear something and how awesome this thing sounds. Now let's actually get in a little closer and look at some of these plugins because they're super cool. So I'm just going to switch to the project file here and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're here in the actual project file of the song. And I'm just going to show you what I was using because I really tried to keep it pretty minimal just to sort of show you, like, even with the littlest things. Um, so anyway, so here's the virtual channel. I have the Brit N Pre and the, uh, the Vintage Pre running at the same time. And I have them turned up really to the point where the coloration really starts happening somewhere around 10 o'clock. Um, and there's all sorts of like cool tricks. And I do encourage you to go over to the uh, to slatedigital.com and look at the demos that they have because they have tons of demos, um, lots of different tricks of the trade, uh, ways to make these preamps in this channel, uh, you know, sound awesome. But anyway, the everything bundle, let's just go through it. It's super cool. Um, so all of these things, I mean, so the, pre the preamps you see here, obviously, uh, you know, all sorts of different harmonic enhancement there there's some mastering plugins hello um the eqs are super cool uh there are a ton of them and the ones that i'm really liking like this one right here oh man this is a great one um the vintage or the brit n eq um sort of emulating an old neve thing here but uh super cool now i will also add they do have their own presets here which is super nice when you first get into this thing to use the presets um to sort of just help you guide your way through uh but yeah i mean it's just so much nicer to use this it's really one of those things that just takes garage band to the whole new more professional level if you watch my channel you know i'm a total diehard garage band guy and i definitely think the garage band by itself does have the ability to sound professional um it takes some real tweaking and some you know real knowledge to get it there but it absolutely is professional it has the same exact audio engine as logic so you know essentially whatever you give it is going to sound exactly like it would in logic now the nice thing about these plugins is like i said it pushes it over that edge and it just really sounds like you spent a ton of money on outboard gear when you didn't when you're just paying like 15 dollars a month to slate and every time they make a new plugin, you get it. No additional fees, nothing. They make new plugins and they come out and you get it for free. I just got one yesterday for the delay, which is 
totally awesome. The reverb in this thing too. Oh, I got to say the reverb. Oh, Lord almighty, is this reverb delicious. Um, I haven't figured out exactly why sometimes it pops up in some channels and not. Oh, thank God it's here. Okay. I, <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. Um, but anyway, this thing right here, this reverb, if you're a, a GarageBand user and you know how much... Um, you know how bad the reverbs are really they're pretty tough to manipulate into something usable i think sometimes they're just i mean with some tweaking you can get it um but let's what would be good to just listen to it on the drums let's listen to it on the drums okay so we're just gonna go here we're gonna go into i like like realistic drum room <laughs> Turn this pre-delay down. Oh, oh, and the other thing is you have EQs on your... <laughs> Oh, hallelujah, there are EQs on these reverbs. If you know, the GarageBand ones do not all have EQs. Some of them, I don't know if any of them actually have an EQ the way that this EQ works. Um, so if you're ever trying to do like that Abbey Road trick or anything like that with your reverbs, um, this reverb just makes all that stuff super, super easy. I love this reverb, you guys, and there's tons of different uh, options that come with it. Da, 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 da. Check out SlateDigital.com for all the nitty gritty details on this. Um, that and yeah, that delay I was talking about is also super awesome. Um, but anyway, if you want to look at the images and stuff, go <laughs> go to go to their website, check it out. I'm just here to tell you that this is my personal professional opinion on the Slate Digital plugins. Is if you're kind of looking, I wouldn't call it a magic wand necessarily, but it might be like the notch below a magic wand because you got to sit there and you got to do some stuff. You don't just like click and it's better, you know. <laughs> um, but it is definitely it's worth the money. Absolutely, positively worth the money. I can't. Uh, I can't tell you that enough and uh it will definitely make your mixes more professional sounding and um that's it you guys so i hope you enjoyed the video please leave comments below i answer them as quickly as possible any questions you have um definitely check out their website slatedigital.com and please join us on the facebook page or twitter wherever you want um and we're always over there chatting about all sorts of interesting things and uh the patreon page patreon.com forward slash garage band and beyond if you'd like to support the channel even more which i would love and uh that's about it you guys i hope you're having a great day and i hope you have a wonderful weekend don't forget every tuesday and friday we have videos coming out this tuesday next tuesday we're doing uh guitar tuesdays it's guitar tuesdays on tuesdays and then fridays we're doing other stuff but yeah tuesday and friday videos coming out check out my other videos i got tons and tons of them that's it you guys have a great day peace